this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see how to install and use support sender that is a new tool which can be used for client troubleshooting SSCM client side troubleshooting you know CM trace CM trace is a log reader tool this is also a support tool for SSCM client so this is very useful real-time support tool so let's install it first I'm installing it on my Windows 10 SSCM client. We'll go through the normal install process. So it will get installed on the default location. So this tool is available in the tools directory of uh, your primary server or CAS server. If you go to support center folder, you would be able to see this file, MSI file. It's asking for permission. So it's got installed. It didn't take more than a couple of seconds to install it. Okay, so let's try to launch it. So there are two tools, right? One is support sender viewer and the other one is support sender. So I will launch both support sender and support sender viewer. Okay. Support sender is the tool which can be used to collect the log files as you can see over here. Client log files including setup file, client policy collection, public key information, the certificate details, client registry information, client WMI information, troubleshooting, debug dumps. So this is very useful tool. Default options are selected. So I will go with the default options collect the data click the selected data option is there if i click on that it will start collecting all the details okay so by default it's collecting all the log files client configuration collector and operating system related log files so i'm going to save this as a zip file in the desktop itself so let's save it okay i saved it now let's go back and try to load the client over here so it will provide you the client details client id hardware id approved state uh, registration internet facing and the client version this is very useful information assigned mp resident mp and all the other details and here you have the option to restart the client etc and if you go to the policies you can request policies from here listen for policy options are here requested policies which are the requested policies which are the actual policies you have an option to click on load policies so you will get all the policy details over here and if i click on this you can see the anti-malware policy and bgb policy and all the details that's pretty nice information for the troubleshooting and if you go to content you can see mon monitor if you click on monitor or if you click on location services or application deployment evaluation if i click on that and click on monitor you will get the details at the moment i don't have any policy related to that in this machine so same applicable for inventory you can click on ddr here and uh, click on load that will load the ddr details of your machine and same thing for hardware inventory so if you click on hardware invent hardware inventory button and load it will load all the inventory instances of the client machine this is pretty nice and you can trigger the hardware inventory software inventory and all the other things actually from here that's pretty cool if I go to troubleshooting, you can click on the start button and you can see like what are the components failing in this machine. So in my case, policy assignments are failing. So I can click on the log and check what is failing in policy assignment. So it's not getting any policy for this particular client machine. And if I go to logs, configure client login, if I click on that, can have an option to have webros and debug and webros kind of options that's very cool you don't need to change the registries to change loggings okay so that's that's very useful option click on verbose and let's try to open some logs 
okay log groups is also another useful option for example if you have a problem with your application management you can click on this tab and you will get all the details what is happening so it says something is failed over here okay if i click on error code build report failed okay i can't see any specific error apart from those two so overall this is very nice tool i think this is the future of um, cm trace as you can see this is log viewer this is much more useful than cm trace and you have advanced filter options okay so we have collected the logs now let's check what does this log viewer does let's launch the viewer and open bundle click on open bundle and if i go to support sorry if i go to desktop you can see a log file which is saved and it is kind of extracting now okay it's processed all the log files okay you can check like operating system details client details uh, all the details from this computer services running on the mission network adapters so all the details you can get from this support center viewer even the log files so you can click on any log file and you can say open it will get open up so that's pretty nice so if you want to open for example cas log click on log and it will open up actually so that is pretty nice so support center tool for sscm is coming with two options one is support sender viewer and the other one is support sender support sender is for collecting and uh, real time troubleshooting and support sender viewer is basically for viewing and analyzing the logs and other details of the mission or sscm client so that's it for this video thank you for watching see you next time